Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. Today's the day. Today's the day that we put online in the hopes of getting probably maybe some better power armor, hopefully some T60 stuff. Because, uh, yeah, so I rested for the night. I got myself sorted for stuff on my inventory. I have brought out the gauze rifle, the laser rifle. What the heck is the deal with this thing? Oh, it's because I have the gauze rifle on. Uh, and the missile launcher. All of them, as well as six missiles. Or, sorry, five missiles. Thought I had six. I guess I have five. Anyway, oh, I had to put one away, that's right, because it was too heavy. Um, all of that in the hopes of taking down some U.S. Army remnants. Let me make sure I've bound these real quick. This should be on two, this should be three, and this should be four. So we are just outside of Fort Strong. Fort Strong is right down here. I uh, went through the subway tunnel that runs underneath the uh, sea over here, the little bay here, to Boston Airport. Came up on the elevator over there and uh, went around the little uh, bay or whatever this is here. And I am approaching Fort Strong. As you know, uh, Fort Strong, or maybe if you don't know, Fort Strong is home, one of the homes of the U.S. Army Remnants, and there are two of them right there. Uh, let me see how much damage I'll be doing with this gauze rifle. I'm not sure if I'll be able to one-shot that, um, that assault run or not. I think there's some power armor in there, too. I guess we'll have to see what kind it is. Okay, this is not going to do it for the assault run on a one-shot. This does have to charge up, so I kind of want to be able to one-shot them, so... I'm coming at this in the morning after sleeping for the night, so I don't have any, uh, adrenaline going. So, we're gonna be using some chems and stuff, and, uh... Yeah, we're gonna be buffing up. So we'll do some Comex for extra sneak attack damage. Medex for extra damage resist. Even though we have a lot of damage resist, you can never have too much. Um... Psycho buff. Some XL for even more hit points. That should be about all I can do. I don't have any Ultra Jet. I should have made some Ultra Jet. I did level up uh, my Chemist perk a bit, so these will last for a long time. I could have made some Overdrive, though. I just forgot. It's okay, though. We'll be fine. So we are going to be thirsty after that. Take Look care of that. Down. That's not how you be stealthy, Nate. Okay, now we are going to be one shining these guys. Most likely. So... Okay, they are taken care of. What do we have here? T-45 stuff. Do I have room for this fusion core? Oh, I do. With all the chems going, I certainly do. There is sometimes a gauze rifle in here somewhere, but I don't see it this time. I think we definitely have to have another drink because there's no way, no way in hell I'd do this sober. Those were just the scouts. Those aren't too bad. The real danger is over here. That, my friends, is a vertebird. And that's the water. Good job, Wonder. Good job. Great job. You fell right down the hole, didn't you? Okay. We're off to a good start, folks. I will accept your fusion cells. Thank you very much. Don't need the laser rifle. So the goal here is to kill that vertebrate as quickly as possible because vertebrates in Frost are the most terrifying thing. Um, okay, there's a ghoul there, which I don't really care about too much. There's somebody over there that I can't make out, really. They're behind the bushes, I think, or maybe... I really don't know. I need to get a better angle 
on this vertebrate though if I want to kill it because I have a targeting computer on my missile launcher but the initial shot is going to be pretty wide and wild it's not going to be um whoop whoop it could be the ghoul this goddamn ghoul Fucking ghouls. Fucking ghouls. Okay, they didn't give us away. We're okay. Trying to get any tags as I can on these guys. With the recon scope. There's one there too. I'm not confident I can hit whatever that is. I can't see anything through this fog. If I could make even the faintest outline out, I would take that one out, then switch the missile launcher and take out the vertebrate real quick. I think that's a guy in power armor. I think I can see the glint of his power armor over there, but I really can't tell. It's very, very hard to see. Yes, it's a vertebrate, I know. Yes, I know. I don't need to know what that is. Oh, I know what this guy is. I'm pretty sure it's a power armor guy right there. See the little glint of metal there? Almost positive that's what it is. Alright, do I have my... Jet bound? No, put my ultra jet on there. Should last for a very long time. Okay. One more drink to seal the nerves. Where's the other one at? Get this out. Come on, tag it. I can't see what it's an oh it's an iBot. Who cares about that? Somebody's shooting at me though. Alright, that's about as good as I could hope for, guys. That's about as good as I could hope for. Totally being honest here. I don't think we took a single hit there. But that was the easy part. Okay. That was the easy part. Pocketed fiber. I think I already have a pocketed chest, unfortunately. I'm gonna drop it here though, just in case I don't have one I want to get later. In case the body despawns on me. Ooh. Ooh. T45. It's unfortunate. This is not even remotely buffed up. It's still quite good, though. Alright. Alright, we're going in. I need water, actually. Okay, there's that guy. I want to keep that. That's one of the things I wanted today was a plasma rifle to get one of those. That's good. Am I severely dehydrated? Do I need, uh... No, I don't need any water yet. Okay. So the thing with this is... doesn't have any silencer. Shit, that's not what I want to do. Need to get, get some water now. Ah. 
Alright. We're just going. We're going. We're going for it. And with that, we're off to the races. That's all I can use, right? It's like the highest I can go. Pretty sure it is. How am I doing on dehydration? We're just gonna hydrate fully, I think. As much as we can. That's gonna be all we can do. It's gonna get us pretty high on our stats though. Yeah, 13 is good. Okay, that went pretty well. All right, I don't think you can go downstairs in Frost unless they've changed that. No, don't do that. Another plasma rifle, cool, I'll take it. There's lots of loot, guys, lots of loot, but we're gonna worry about that in a second. Right now, I wanna make sure we're clear. No surprises. Well, there is a fat man up here, which, uh, this is new, I'm pretty sure. No traps in here? Okay, this is hilarious. He's taking a piss. That's great. On a stool. On a little ladder there? That's amazing. Is this area new? Did, did the Frost uh, team add this area? It looks... it looks different than what I remember. Maybe it's not. It says locked door open. It's propped open though, so I... Uh, whatever. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, I do need some... Oh, I don't need food, but I'll, I'll take it. That went, yeah, like I said, that went about as well as I could possibly hope for, guys. Oh, whatever. I'll open this up and check it out. What, oh, never mind. You just hit it open and it opens. It's not actually locked. Oh, it says locker door, not locked door. Got it. I understand. Okay, um... Whew, that was a that was a rush. So we're all clear up here. Let's start from the top and go down. We'll we'll save the best stuff for last. As far as looting goes, we'll get the stuff up here and then we'll go downstairs. Well, that's pretty good too. Schematics are always nice. Two of them, huh? I wonder if this place just has a really high chance for those, or if it's like you're guaranteed to get a couple of them here. It would make sense. The army would be hoarding that kind of stuff. Yeah, isn't this area like all broken stuff? I think the Frost team might have fixed this area. One of the mods must have fixed this area up, which is really cool. I, I quite like that. Would have made sense it wasn't totally busted up right after the bombs fell. Took some time to uh, get to that. There aren't a lot of lockers you can interact with like that in the base game. Nice beds here, too. Different bed for every, every day week, if you wanted to. Okay. Lower level.
Let's see what all we got here. Private Myrna Myrnahan's hollow tape. Working down that the army just uploaded the first. Oh, hey, hold on. actually got the damn thing to work and after seeing the real thing sitting right in front of me I think they could be just enough to tip the balance of this war in our favor I mean can you imagine the look on the enemy's face when we get dropped into Anchorage carrying these babies they won't know what hit them that is I think still it's not frost that's I'm pretty sure that's in the base game uh, pocketed, you know, eventually I'll just be able to make my own one of those. Uh, let's see here. Neither one of these are really any good, but I'll keep one so I can take it back. It's a nice 308, uh, recon scoped sniper rifle. I don't think I have a recon scope for my snipe, for my, uh, combat rifle. Take it back with me if I can. Would you have, sir? Another nice laser rifle. This is all heavy stuff, I think. Let me take a look at you. It's a heavy chest for sure. I think it's everything is else is heavy too. Maybe not. Maybe the arms aren't heavy. The naming system is not very indicative of what it actually is. It's kind of annoying. Hard to tell besides the uh, damage resist values. Not that I'll ever actually use any regular armor. I'll just be in power armor the rest of the playthrough. Just isn't very safe, guys. Okay, uh... I am just about positive this was blocked off previously, so maybe you can go down here. Or, yeah, I mean, obviously you can because I'm going down, so. But you almost certainly couldn't uh, in the old version. I might. I haven't used a stealth boy yet. I am out of. Um, I'm out of jet. I'm out of ultra jet. I think I popped two of them on accident, so let me do some jet on six. And, um, we do this on seven. Oh, there are those ghouls. There are mutants here. No, that's a sentry bot. These are definitely US Army remnants. Alright, well I do have one missile left, so I can take that out with the missile. Assuming I can get a good angle on it and not blow myself up in the process. I've also got... this thing. Maybe I should take him out with this. Target lock status red. Continuing perimeter sweep. There are a lot of them, guys. I mean, a lot. Come on, who's there? Oh, 
Okay, we're clear. That's a lot of, that's a lot of fusion cores. Okay, gotta drop some of the stuff. Um, both of you can go. And that'll do for now. Pretty sure I saw a weapons workbench around here somewhere. Yeah, we're definitely clear now. Is this full heavy? No, it's not full heavy. I don't really want this, just want the ammo out of it. Same for that, I'm gonna drop it for now, I'll come back for it later. What was the uh, power armor guy? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Still T45, unfortunately. That's really unlucky on my part, but I got T45 so far and nothing, no T60. Oh my god, this does so much damage. With all the chems I'm on. So much DPS. Come here, sir. Uh, this is this is full heavy. Pretty sure. Maybe not the legs. Everything else is, though. You, I think, have... at least one heavy leg. Let's shove this into a container for now and maybe come back for it later. I... I just like... heavy combat armor. I wouldn't mind having a set, guys. In Horizon, you can tell what's what. You can tell if it's heavy or not. You can't really tell here. It's kind of a little bit annoying. I mean, some of the pieces you can tell, obviously, like that one. Uh, I don't need this weapon. And we go back over again. I'll sort this stuff later. There's a armor workbench here too I can use if I need to. Got some good experience here too. Bravo Team Testing Terminal. This is probably base game stuff I'd assume. Yeah, we're, we're... Sorry, I really had to cough. Um, yeah, well, that's all base game stuff, I'm pretty sure.
Wait, wasn't there a journal on somebody upstairs I missed? That's it. I'll go back up in a second check. I'm pretty sure there was a journal up there. Nukes that I have no room for. Let's go. Hey! It's an alliance infiltrator. That's great. Russell Stone's journal. Yeah, see, he had a crappy sawed off pipe rifle. No, here it is. Couldn't find it in the regular notes section, so over here. Monday, new chapter, new journal. Looks like I'm departing Liberty for Fort Strong. I could swim that route with the right gear, we'll be guarding some heavy shit. Is this a promotion? I can't tell yet. At least I get a day off to acclimate to being back on land. You forget how accustomed you are to the rock and roll of this hulk. I won't miss this place despite a lot of intrigue and even more blood. So many bits of a story here, but too fractured and encoded to assemble into a narrative. Maybe some missing links can be found as Fort Strong. Tuesday, checked in at base between wretches. Wretches? Between watches, I think? I don't know. Eli was there. I might have convinced him that we're thinking of moving the base out west to the Ark Jet building. I told him I just need a proper scout and reconnaissance. He isn't that gullible, is he? Friday. Demotion, honestly. Fort Strong is a no-go for getting intel. I doubt he ever came here. The every presence here is entirely for guarding the stash, which is impressive to say the least, but no way are we getting our hands on any of it. We just have to wait for the next rotation. Okay. Pretty sure that was supposed to be watches, not wretches, but yeah. You get the idea. Lion's Infiltrator here, sneaking in, stealing their stuff while getting the intel. Trying to find more intel about Ganon. He was sneaky down here. I didn't even know he was here until the last second. Unfortunately, no power armor in here for me. No, no upgrades anyway. And I am pretty sure that's it. But that's okay. Good experience. Lots of fusion cores. Okay, we got all the stuff over here. It's so odd that the uh, sentry bot is back in there. I'm pretty sure there's one in the base game, though. Well, no, maybe not, because this is a super mutant behemoth. Or not behemoth, just a super mutant area. Lots of mutants over here. So... All right, well, we came, we saw, we killed people, we gained a whole bunch. Oh. There's... Okay, there was a second guy. Yeah, it's T-51 set. I have a T-51 set already. I don't have room for these missiles. I can carry them. Do I really want that recon scope? I don't think I do. I'm just gonna leave it here. I can carry them like this. It's fine. I still want... Well, I haven't checked this entire area yet. This level I haven't really checked yet. But um, we'll leave these here for now. I still want uh, to get that journal I saw upstairs that I didn't read. Ooh, okay, here goes all my carry weight day. Just after money now and ammo, pretty much. Lightweight ammo. There's the armor bench. If I want to come back here and do any modding on that armor later on, which I eh, might. We'll see.
So I'll just dirty water. I mean, thanks, but no thanks, I think. This is a pretty tame Yes Army Remnant area too compared to some of the other ones. This is this would be considered the easiest one, I'm pretty sure, so. It only gets tougher from here. And I crashed. Okay, let's see where I am gonna be reloading from. Hopefully not too far back, because if I have to redo everything, that'll be really disappointing. Okay, guys, we're back again. So I actually did this a second time. I went through the entire area a second time, recorded it a second time. Uh, just quickly, just to do it again, you know, because I have to do it again. Um, and I didn't realize I wasn't recording the video. I was just recording the audio, just my commentary. So this will actually be the third time I'm recording this, so. Yeah. It's been one of those days, guys. It's been one of those days. All right. Though last time I had really bad luck, um, I didn't get and get savant proc, which is very disappointing. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. Contact reacquired. Do it again! Again! Okay. <laughs> okay, they're pissed. Need water. I don't think I got a proc there, I'm not sure though. What the hell are you? I might have gotten a proc. It's hard to tell, I can't see. Might be a proc. Let me go downstairs real quick. If I have a proc, I'll try to make use of it while I'm down there too. What I'm curious about is if the if the power armor guy down here will still be uh, T51. And also, if we're gonna get a sentry bot or not, because when I when I re-recorded or when I thought I was re-recording it after the crash, um, it was not a sentry bot. It was a Mr. Gutsy, which was very unfortunate. I'm gonna pop a Barry Mentats too again down here, just because even if I'm not currently if I don't currently have the buff, I'd still feel a lot better having that on. I'm gonna also bind. Regular jet to six. You see that fucking Matrix dodge he just did, man? That was some bullshit. So yeah, no sentry bot this time. Looks like no Mr. Gutsy either. I guess it's just kind of random what spawns down here. Did we get two power armor guys? We're gonna have a ridiculous amount of 5 mil after this. If these guys have like 500 rounds apiece. Okay, T-51, this guy, the missile launcher too. This is a targeting triple barrel. Nice. Don't need it anymore, but nice, all the same. It's a slightly better plasma rifle than before. Should be one more guy, right? Yeah, the lion's guy over here. Yeah, 
never knew what hit him. So I want to go out. Just suddenly your head's gone, you know? Okay. Well, guys, um... Yeah, it's been a real pain in the butt of a uh, an episode because of all the crashing and stuff. It's a nice stock on it, actually. I'll, I'll keep that around. Take that one back, I think. But yeah, we got what I wanted to accomplish accomplished. That's very good. Uh, I just wish I could have kept the original... The original uh, save because I got better loot on that round. The extra fusion cores and stuff was nice. Not that I really need fusion cores right now, but more is always better, right? So, but anyways, guys, I think we will wrap up the episode here for this one. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.